First at five, new court det documents detail a possible motive in the murder of a Milwaukee postal worker. 44-year-old Andre Cross was gunned down three weeks ago while on his delivery route near 65th in Lancaster. 12 News' is Hannah Hilliard is live tonight at the federal courthouse. And Hannah, federal investigators are now revealing that two men followed Cross on his route for more than a half hour before killing him. Right, Jaron and Kristen. So those two men are Kevin McCaw and Charles Ducksworth Jr. And federal investigators believe they targeted this postal worker for over a package that they never received. As postal worker Andre Cross <laughs> delivered the mail on a snowy December 9th, federal investigators say two men, Kevin McCaw and Charles Ducksworth Jr., were following him in this Audi from at least 4 p.m. until 4.38. Surveillance video shows the car waiting in an alley near 65th and Lancaster. You then hear a single gunshot and see a man running back to the car. Cross was then found shot dead. As loved ones search for answers in the days that followed. None of us can rest until this person is put away. Local and federal investigators did too. In this newly released criminal complaint, investigators suggest McCall and Ducksworth Jr were shipping drugs from California to addresses near their Milwaukee homes. Investigators say they identified suspect packages scanned by Cross as part of his duties as a USPS letter carrier. And he scanned one package intended for Ducksworth a week before the murder as, quote, delivery attempted, no access to delivery location. That package remains missing to this day. The documents detail surveillance videos from homes and cell phone data law enforcement used to connect McCaw and Ducksworth to that Audi and to a footbridge near 49th and Parkway Drive, where investigators say they discovered the murder weapon in a nearby creek. And I'm happy to hear that there have been three arrests uh, made in this case. Uh, and I would like to believe, and I, I think this probably had something to do with it, the fact that, you know, individuals uh, asked for people to step up and provide information. Police arrested the two men and a woman on December 27th. So just some stunning new details that we're learning tonight. Hannah, the third person arrested, Chanel McCoy, is accused of lying to investigators. Right, Jaren. So she is actually the registered owner of that silver Audi, and she told federal investigators that she was out driving that car around doing some DoorDash deliveries at the time of Cross's murder. Well, that goes against what was found in that criminal complaint. Instead, they say that she was driving Ducksworth car at the time. And all three suspects expected in court next month. Hannah Hilliard reporting tonight outside of the federal courthouse. Hannah, thank you. The U.S. Postal Inspection Service had offered a $50,000 reward for information leading up to an arrest and conviction in this case. Tonight, that office will not comment on if or how much will be offered to anyone. However, a woman who gave video to police in this case tells us that she's been told to wait for conviction.